What's up, guys? I'm back with another movie review. Today I'm here to talk about Blade Runner 2049. Uh, based on the rest of the critical, uh, or at least most of the critics who watch this movie, this is probably going to be an unpopular review uh, because I definitely didn't like it as much as uh, some of the other critics and uh, audiences did. Um, this movie follows Ryan Gosling, who plays uh, Kay, who is a Blade Runner, a uh, newer model replicant who hunts down the older, less predictable uh, replicants and uh, ret retires them. Um, he goes and finds one and retires him and in the process kind of makes a discovery of some stuff that opens up kind of a Pandora's box of what if and kind of unknown circumstances that uh, you know really interest him and interest a lot of other people too although most people want to get this stuff and bury it so that no one ever finds out the truth about it. Um, there's not really a lot else to talk that I can talk about without kind of giving away too much but essentially it's just K is on this quest to discover the truth. And that's pretty much what the movie is. Um, I didn't love this movie. I did like it. I don't think it's a bad movie. I think it's stylistically, it's beautiful. Uh, the effects are better than 90% of the big budget Hollywood movies out there. So I did appreciate it from that perspective. But it felt extremely hollow to me. I wasn't drawn in by the characters. I wasn't drawn in by the story. I felt like the whole replicant thing. Um, I don't know what new it brought to the table, I guess, is the best way to put it. I mean, I like Blade Runner. I don't know what this sequel does to expand upon it it just kind of feels like a retelling with a few new bells and whistles um i don't i don't feel like there was really that much you know revelations or whatever put into this movie um and i know some people disagree i just didn't find it to be i just didn't find much depth or anything really of freshness or interesting about the story um i thought ryan gosling was fine i thought some of the other performances were good i thought jared leto and harrison ford were terrible um I don't understand why they went down the nostalgia route. I mean, I understand from a, a financial perspective because this is a big budget, you know, Hollywood popcorn movie. And so they needed to bring people in. But I don't understand. I mean, to me, if this wouldn't have been a Blade Runner movie, if it just would have been a sci-fi movie with a new spin on kind of the replicant, um, you know, premise, I think it would have been a lot better. But because they felt the need to shoehorn in so much nostalgia, I feel like it really brought it down. I thought Harrison Ford was just awful in his role i thought he really dragged down the movie and i know for a lot of people that would have been like a really cool moment and i just i just feel like he really tanked his uh, role in it i thought jared leto was terrible in the few scenes that he had uh but those are the exception i think mostly uh you know people were really good in this and as i said i really like the visual effects i'll just say this i know that the and i i saw this movie twice i saw it uh, when it first came out and I didn't like it. I thought, well, I'm going to give it some time and then go back and rewatch it because the, the reaction to this was so overwhelmingly positive that maybe I just missed something. So I waited about a month and I went back to the theater and I saw it again. And I really felt the same way. Um, I know a lot of people hyped up that threesome scene and acted like, oh my God, this is guaranteed an Oscar for visual effects because of it. I thought that scene was really disappointing. I don't, I didn't see anything even really remarkable about it or anything memorable about it. I thought it based on what you might hear about it you would think it was this amazing feat of technology and it's really not uh, but the effects overall are really really good and like i said better than almost any other like recent big budget you know big popcorn movie um in the end i just didn't i just wasn't drawn into it i didn't care about the characters i didn't care about the story um i hated the nostalgia being pushed in uh, but I did, you know, I thought it was watchable. I thought it was overly long for the for how shallow the story was, but I thought it was very watchable, and I loved the visuals. Just the visuals alone kind of were enough to keep me interested, but I wish it would have had a more substantial story, and I just wish it wouldn't have pushed the nostalgia so hard. Like, I want... This guy that made this movie has such, like, a great vision for cinema, and to for him to have to, like, toil in other people's work is just not good to me i think he should be doing his own stuff and i saw now he's talking about redoing dune like i want to see this guy making original you know cinematic visions of his own not just following in the footsteps of other people uh but anyway i didn't love blade runner 2049 i certainly don't think it was a bad movie but i just have no desire to ever see it again um i know that's <laughs> definitely not a popular opinion but that's the way i felt about it i wanted to like it i love blade runner but i just couldn't get into it i think it would have been a lot better uh, to have a movie that dealt with the replicants but didn't have to be slavish to the things put in the first movie. And especially that to shoehorn in the Sean Young and uh, Harrison Ford stuff. I just was not a fan of that. Uh, so that's my review of Blade Runner 2049. It also did a full write-up of it at markfusion.com. I'm also on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch. 
um, all that kind of fun stuff at Mark Fusion. If you like these videos, uh, please do drop a sub. I'd greatly appreciate it. Even if you disagree with me about Blade Runner 2049, I'm sure we, you know, have similar opinions on some other stuff, hopefully. So I would greatly appreciate the sub. It's a free, direct way to support me that helps me continue to put out this content. So again, greatly, greatly appreciate it if you could do that. If not, I understand too. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video, though. I do sincerely appreciate it, and hopefully I'll see you soon.